the head of Damak, the large property developer out of Dubai. He tells me the demand for AI data centers is, and this is his word, crazy. Hussein Sadrani doesn't use those words lightly. He pledged to spend, there you see it, where he pledged to spend $20 billion on data center construction when he visited President Trump in January. Uh, Mr. Sharani made his reputation as a luxury developer in Dubai and beyond. At FII in Saudi yesterday, he told me his priorities have now shifted. I am today focusing heavily on data center and on artificial intelligence and the infrastructure for the AI. I have today in 12 countries, more than 20 data center under construction, 5,000 megawatt of land with power, another almost 1,000 megawatt in US I bought, another 1,000 I'm going to buy soon. So when you say you're focusing on the data centers, are you building the power infrastructure or the centers themselves? No, data centers. And I take the power from the electric, electricity company. We build the substations. So you're, you're well and truly in the, uh, in the infrastructure? Yes. How do you respond? The criticism that we're just building too many data centers, it, too much electricity, too much, it, we can't cope with what's necessary. You're talking about the amount you're building. True, but the demand is crazy. I mean, I met OpenAI's you know, founder, Sam Altman, I met Oracle senior executive. All of them I meet, the demand is beyond your thinking. I think the world gonna, the AI gonna change the world. And I have, I'm an investor in a number of companies from you know, AI, OpenAI and XAI and others and, and Anthropic and all of them. And I'm invested also in a number of companies in the in forensic and in the application. But a lot of people are gonna lose their jobs, unfortunately. And it's gonna be a revolution how we're gonna operate. This the idea of agent gonna do things beyond your thinking. So when you say you build AI, uh, data, what is it you're building? Yes, we're basically building a very complicated uh, building, which is very technical. Why? In the Why well, is it technical? Because they want the power to be there almost, they call it tier three, 99.9999. So the power really can go not even a few seconds. And uh, is it very expensive to build one of these? Oh, yeah. It costs between 10 to 12 to 14 million dollars per data center, depends where you are. Right, and you of course are, uh, are building them in the States as well. Yes, yes, we already bought a few lands. We committed 20 billion dollars. We are going all the way on our commitment. Can you see a, a DMAC world where that takes greater, you know, that, that becomes bigger than residential? Yes. Really? Yes. We already launched, launched another company called DMAC AI, where we're gonna buy the chips from Nvidia and AMD and store them in our uh, data center, and we're gonna sell computing power to the hyperscalers, like the OpenAI, like the Meta and others, and we may go and create, a, in a smaller scale, also our own cloud. So, President Trump, have you spoken to him lately? I met him just 10 days ago for a lunch. And you, you the, I, I shall refrain from using the name that everybody says to describe you as, oh, all right, I will, the Donald Trump of Dubai. Um, can you see the vision that he's bringing forward? Does it make sense to you? See, he's a very hardworking man. I'm surprised his energy. I was with him in Scotland when he met the uh, British Prime Minister. And I was there with my family, with my kids, my wife for two days. From morning 7.30, he's on the golf course and meeting and meeting and lunch and dinner. So very high energy. Uh, I think he's a very intelligent man and he knows what he's doing. He has certain style of negotiation, so he will throw some dust in your face, tell you 150% tariff, then he'll back off, then he'll make a deal. Final question, do you, would you, would you, do you wish you were building the ballroom at the White House? Well, that would have been fun. <laughs> it would have been fun. Would you it's like to have built it? And we'll have a little, little bit of my name or my company name is built by Dhamma. Now he says he'd like to have put his name on it a little bit, but this is how he actually puts his name on buildings across Dubai. Damak, you can't, I mean, they all do, Imar does it, they all do it. Big letters, I can't imagine they'd be allowed to do that at the White House, but he still would have liked to have a little bit of Damak at the bottom. His buildings are huge, they are beautiful, and they are expensive. Uh, and it's always good to have Mr. Shadrani on Press Means Business.